Let me show you in my kitchen all the dairy-free alternatives that I like to use. Since I keep kosher and part of that is not mixing meat and dairy, whenever I have a recipe that calls for dairy and I'm having it at a meat meal because we don't mix them even in our meals, I'll use these alternatives for that. And even after the meal, if I've had meat, we wait anywhere from three to six hours based on tradition to have dairy. In my family, we wait three hours. So after meat meal, we'll wait three full hours before having something dairy. I pulled a bunch of stuff out of my fridge to show you, starting with butter. I'll use, I like Earth Balance a lot. Miyoko's is another really good brand. And then this Trader Joe's buttery spread is great. And for sour cream, I like to use Tofuti. Better than sour cream. I mean, it's not better than sour cream, but it's really great if I want to make something dairy-free with sour cream, like one of those cakes that has sour cream in it. And then for cream cheese, this is Violife. This brand makes really, really good vegan cheese. I don't have any in the house now, but I wanted to mention that because it melts beautifully. Then for milk, you can use almond milk, soy milk, uh, oat milk, rice milk. Almond milk is my favorite in coffee. And to make whipped cream, we can use Rich's Whip. And sometimes people use coconut milk also. And one note that I want to add is eggs are not dairy. I know they're sold in the dairy section, but they're actually considered neutral or parv is the other word we use for it, which means mayo is dairy free. It's not dairy.